San Diego law enforcement agencies will be getting rid of the controversial facial recognition program after pressure from civil liberties groups. Our tennis reporter Matt Boone explains why even lawmakers were skeptical of this technology. While it's used by law enforcement, the actual facial recognition database is operated by SANDAG. Known as the Tactical Identification System, or TAC IDs, police in the field can use the app to take photos of people they've detained. It then cross-references with hundreds of thousands of photos in the county jail's database. It can give them a, a pretty instantaneous match as to what, who or what that person is, supposedly. Dustin Cron is the director of Care San Diego, which has joined a coalition to fight against facial recognition, saying studies have shown it can lead to false positives. Facial recognition technology isn't at a great point where it actually even works effectively for all people. This was troubling to some state legislators who earlier this year passed AB 1215. In the bill, they wrote the technology, quote, has been repeatedly demonstrated to misidentify women, young people, and people of color. I have to tell you, it does scare the big Jesus out of me. At the Sandag public safety meeting today, they announced they would be complying with the state law dismantling the TAC IDs program. This bill takes effect on January 1, 2020, and will sunset on January 1, 2023. After that, Cron just hopes the public can create a citizen review board to make sure the technology isn't abused as it gets more accurate. Is this China? That's kind of a question that we're asking at this point, because if we're not clear with our people, the type of technology we're using to police them, then we have to, we have to wonder what type of surveillance state we're living in. Matt Boone, 10 News. The California Police Chiefs Association strongly opposed the bill and argued that the ban threatens the safety of every Californian.